Hello everyone, Storm King and Luki back here again with more Let's Play Brain Lord. So to continue our tour, we got the church. I thought he was a blacksmith. He had great weapons with dragon scales, but now he doesn't work much. He's just digging a hole. What kind of hole is he digging? Uh, now he's been getting into that place every day. He doesn't ruin his health. In the old days, he was a sorcerer who traveled with great warriors. He has even gone to the Tower of Light. Oh, sounds like he's kind of the man. Uh, does nothing but grieve. He's going to ruin his health. Do you think you could help him? Well, I can try. Oh. Ah. See, there. I messed up the button, so now it... Yeah. Thank you. I have to have that different. There we go. That'll work better. In a small town like this is such a splendid school. He used to be a great man, but now he's consumed with grief. Hmm, a new demon is living in the top of the Tower of Light. Well, it's where the dragons were supposed to be, so I guess we're going to have to find out which one's true. Ah, the blacksmith. You're going to the Tower of Light, too? I heard there was a dragon on the top. If there are dragon scales, please bring them. I'll pay... Wow, he'll pay 10,000 gold each. That's pretty nice. Who's looking forward to 10,000 gold per scale? Okay, now this is the magic shop. I'll just take a look here. We got shield, which is going to be kind of useful. Um, impulse, I believe that one's called. Rebound and slow. Uh, we won't be buying any yet, but they're kind of interesting. Shield puts a little barrier in front of you, and you can actually hurt enemies with it. Plus, it stops all projectiles. Um, impulse sends a little burst across the ground. I like that one a lot, personally. Problem is, it won't go over pits. Um, rebound bounces off walls, but it's very inaccurate and sucks. And um, the last one being slow... Slow just plain sucks. It just slows down enemies. Arms dealer somewhere. Yeah, the blacksmith doesn't sell weapons. What? You came here too? Where are you going to need some equipment? Yeah, yeah. This is the general store. A real warrior would use an axe. An axe? Yeah, except we can't have an axe yet. There's a reason why we don't have an axe yet. Let's take a look on here. We got apples, cheese. Those both fill up your health, different amounts. A warp gate, which will let you travel to any main location you've been to. By main locations, I mean each of the floors in a dungeon counts as a main area, and each of the cities counts as a main area. So we'll end up with a long list of those by the time we're done. Um, these two herbs, I don't remember which, what, which one's which. Um, one of them cures numb, and one of them cures poison. Um, and these are uh, two little pill-type things. They boost your attack or defense for a little while, but they're not that great. You know, they might be useful like for fighting bosses and stuff, but the bosses are easy enough as it is if you use the right weapon. All well, sold out. They have no weapons to sell. Great. But that's what I meant by we can't get any axes and stuff yet. We won't find any in the first dungeon either, unfortunately. So axes are kind of out for a while. With an axe, we can destroy every one of these... Um, well, like, you see how the uh, big barrel here is two, like, sprites tall? If, if you've ever done game editing and stuff, like an RPG maker. It's two sprites tall, um, whereas these boxes and hay things are only one. All the items that are one, you can break with an axe. So, just in case you were curious. There we go. In my day, there were enough dragons to fill the sky, but now it seems they've become extinct. Let me know when you've returned from the Tower of Light. Okay. That's something to get rid of the mice. You can have anything useful you find there. What do you say? Yes. If you remember, we were told to do that. It's a, a little job to earn some money. This is extremely easy. If you were wondering, those hundreds, that's money. Money. 
There we go. Mice are gone. Can't open the chest since all the mice are gone. We found a buckler. And we found a scrap of paper. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip that buckler. Oop. Get that sucker down on the other page, too. And what in the world is this? Well, let's move it down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it in my rare weird items area. Okay. Okay. Scrap of paper is old and a little bit unre a little bit readable. Went with rune to the Tower of Light. Divided into four parts. Down the hidden staircase. First floor. That room. Sealed up the fairy source. Now that seems like it makes absolutely no sense. What it means is that there's a hidden stairwell that leads to a hidden section of the first floor with a fairy there. We used to take trips there with Ruin. There weren't any expensive things in that room, but did you find anything useful? Yes, we did. Now that we have a shield, we can block. Yep. Now you'll notice, uh, or you might have noticed before, the shield had a little 30 below it. Not only does it have not great defense, I mean, if somebody attacks you with a sword, there's a chance it'll go through, sometimes. But um, also, it only has a health of 30, meaning if it takes 30 hits, it'll get destroyed and it'll be gone. You can't repair them. Tower of Lights to the northeast, many obstacles in your way. Okay. So basically, as you're using the shield, you can block shots, but after you block 30 of them, it's gone. Better shields have more health and they have better defense. Now... Eventually, here and there, I'm going to have to do some farming for gold and stuff. But for now, we're just going to play through normal. See? A little bright compared to some of the other games we've been playing, but, um... As you can see, it's kind of like a Zelda-ish thing. But, um... It has jumping. The jumping is, uh... Uh... It's pretty good. You can do long jumps, you can do little tiny jumps. Uh, and just so you know, if you jump in a direction, it'll keep going until you land again. So you can't turn in the air. Yeah, and you slide down mountains if you don't land right. Now, is there anything over here? Nope. There we go. A little heart. Sometimes enemies will drop those. They just give you a little bit of life back. Oh, we found a house. An abandoned house. Kind of cool music. Oh, bad guys. Now you notice my character kind of auto-defended auto there. Your character will auto-defend if you have a shield, but not always, so you want to be careful. I found a heart. And I found a Crimson Jade. Okay. Um, let's see, what should we call the first guy? Let's go with... Oh, no. Let's go with Flare. There we go. Now, let's get out these things. Okay. A heart here... Oh, we're about run out of time. A heart here is, um... It'll fill up your health completely and increase it by one. You want to keep these, like, saved up until you need them, like, for boss fights and stuff. Because full health and plus one health, like, total, permanent, you don't want to waste it. And here's our first one of our gems. Put that sucker over here. And let's equip it. These guys, little fairies, come out. This guy will follow you around next to your shoulder and shoots fireballs at enemies. They also level up, which I will go over in the next episode. This has been Storm King and Aluki. I'll see you guys next time.